Hello friends, welcome back to my channel Basic Linguistics. Today we are discussing about linguistics and uh, linguistics and other fields. Means linguistics, how linguistics uh, related with other fields, uh, other fields like uh, philosophical uh, philosophy, anthropology, sociology, uh, education, computer computer science, and literature. So we can say uh, the these relation like uh, philosophical linguistics, anthropological linguistics, social linguistics, educational linguistics, computational linguistics, and linguistics in literature. So it is a uh, it is based on UGC NET syllabus, uh, uh, which we will find in uh, first unit and last topic so let's start so first of all uh, the topic is philosophical linguistics so uh, now we need to understand what is philosophy right so philosophy means it in in ancient greek it is a love of wisdom so philosophy is a systematic study of general and fundamental questions concerning topics like existence reason uh, knowledge value mind and languages so these this is the philosophy and uh, when we uh, we um, interrelate linguistic with philosophy it is called philosophical linguistics or linguistic philosophy so linguistic philosophy is the view that uh, m many or all philosophical problem can be solved okay so there is a uh, important thing is that uh, it is a view that many or all philosophical problems can be solved or dissolved right by paying closer attention to the language that's why we called linguistic uh, philosophy right either by reforming language or either we reforming language or better understanding our everyday language so the former position is that of ideal language philosophy one prominent example being logical automism so this is the philosophical uh, linguistic second is anthropological linguistics so anthropological linguistics means so here also uh, we need to understand what is anthropology is so anthropology is a systematic study of humanity right so we have to clear about that like anthropology is a systematic study of humanity with the goal of understanding and our uh, understanding our evolutionary origin right you have to understand that anthropology means sometimes we need to uh, the, the basic goal or uh, the main goal of the anthropology is understanding our evolutionary origin our uh, distinctiveness as a species like and the great diversity in our forms of social existence right across the world and through time the focus of anthro uh, anthropology is on understanding both our shared humanity and diversity and engaging with diverse ways of being in the world so anthropology basically uh, hum humanity ke bare mein padhte hain jisme jo goal hota hai wo uh, evolutionary origin ke bare mein hum jante hain hamari distinctiveness kaisi hoti as a kyunki bahut sari species hoti hai unki kuch na kuch alag cheeze hoti hai differences hote hain jo distinctiveness hoti hai uske bare mein dekhte hain aur jitne bhi ek social existence hoti hai across the world उनके बारे में जानते हैं एंड दी जो मेन फोकस होता है एंथ्रोपोलॉजी का वो होता है अंडरस्टैंडिंग बोथ आवर शेयर्ड ह्यूमैनिटी हम ह्यूमैनिटी शेयर करते हैं डाइवर्सिटी शेयर करते हैं उनके बारे में एंड इंगेजिंग विथ डाइवर्स वे ऑफ बीइंग द वर्ल्ड एक वर्ल्ड में रहना और उसमें कौन सी चीज़ों में किस डाइवर्स में हम इंगेज होते हैं दैट ऑल आर इन एंथ्रोपोलॉजी एंड वेन वी लिंक लाइक एंथ्रोपोलॉजी एंड लिंग्विस्टिक विच इज़ कॉल्ड एंथ्रोपोलॉजिकल लिंग्विस्टिक्स is this a field of linguistics and anthropology which deals with the place of language in its wider social and cultural context okay so you have to understand that uh, anthropological linguistics that that deals with the place of language right place of language in which wider social and con uh, cultural context and its role in making and maintaining cultural practices societal uh, societal structures so this is the anthropological linguistics and then social linguistics what is the social linguistics it is a uh, soci uh, sociology plus linguistics which is called socio linguistics so, so uh, sociology what is sociology sociology is the scientific uh, scientific and systematic study of human society right 
Sociology is a scientific and systematic study of human society that focuses on society, human social behavior, patterns of social relationships, social interaction and aspects of the culture associated with every day life. So you, you can understand this easily. And second one is social linguistics. So social linguistics is the study of the so uh, sociological aspects of the language, right? Here we need to understand what is sociolinguistics so sociolinguistics is the study of so, uh, sociologic, uh, uh, sociological aspects there is a, uh, there is some sociological aspects of languages we need to discuss in sociolinguistics so the discipline examines how different social factors such as ethnicity gender age class occupation education and geographical location can influence language use and maintain social ro role within a community see so sociolinguistics is it is a very easy and uh, very uh, very good topic to understand because there is a another video about uh, social uh, sociolinguistics we had al already discussed so you can understand it very easily and uh, other topic is educational linguistics right we need uh, we know uh, what is education right so education is a transmission of knowledge skills and character traits and comes in many forms right and second one is educational linguistics when we uh, connect the education and linguistic we can say that educational linguistics so according to spolsky educational linguistic is an area of study that integrates the research tool of linguistics and other related disciplines of the social science in uh, order to investigate holistically the broad range of issues related to the languages and education so you can uh, say that education uh, educational linguistics is concerned with the study of language right the study of language in teaching uh, how uh, how uh, how language using in teaching uh, and learning it is a basic uh, basically related to the educational linguistics right so it is an application of linguistic to solve the problems in education educational linguists uh, linguistics deals mainly with uh, policy ideology and identity so it can be um, understand so then uh, wait Educa educational linguistics after that computational linguistics so you know you know that uh, how, um, what is the computer science right so computer science is the study of computation information and automation so computer science is a fundamental of all computing disciplines it includes an entire range of sub areas like uh, sub areas like uh, machine learning uh, natural language processing which is also called nlp right and computing systems networking uh, operating systems ai which is uh, artificial intelligence and human factors so these are the main factors of computer science uh, we study uh, in um, we study in computer science so computational linguistics is an interdisciplinary field that applies computer science like and the use of algorithms to analyze comprehend written and spoken language this is the very important to understand like analyze and comprehend written and spoken language that's why it is called computational linguistics because here we, uh, we are uh, including the language also like written and spoken language so the field combines linguistics computer science artificial intelligence engineering neuroscience and even anthropology to understand language from the computational perspective so uh, i hope you understand uh, the computational linguistics and last one linguistic in literature so literature you know very well like what is the lit literature and when we add linguistic in literature how it uh, it will be help like literature is a collection of written work right but it is also used more narrowly for writing spe uh, specifically uh, considered to be an art form especially prose prose fiction drama poetry and including both print and digital print, uh, writing so the linguistic study of the literature addresses the way ways in which language is differently organized in verbal art literature like form is added to language altered attenuated 
and differently grouped right so these different kind of organization are norm uh, normatively subject to limits some de uh, derived from uh, limits on general linguistics form of language specific linguistic form so you can understand that literature uh, in literature we we, uh, we are using many many more languages right so uh, we can uh, see, uh, we can see the difference like uh, some language dif uh, some language uh, literature are different from other uh, language literature right so here linguistic is very important li literature also so i need uh, i need one help uh, from all of you uh, if you want uh, videos in only in english you can comment um, comment me if if this uh, video uh, helpful for you otherwise uh, some some people are in hindi medium also who who uh, who want in uh, video in uh, hindi english both bilingual uh, so that's why i need to ask that one and thank you so much for watching and please uh, like subscribe uh, li like subscribe and share my videos and thank you for uh, watching